Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. You can fix anything. Today we are going to take some Bose uh, speakers, like this surround sound that was set up, and we're going to hook them up to a standard receiver. The Bose receiver is gone mysteriously, and uh, Bose has proprietary plugs that they generally use. Um, so here's the ends of a Bose speaker plug. Um, if you know anything about speakers, you'll know that that is not what a speaker wire looks like. Um, a normal speaker wire is going to have two ends. There we go. So two ends just like this, a positive and a negative end. And so we want to get this hooked into a setup so it's like that. Um, so I think these have two wires coming in and out, so I'm pretty sure one is the positive and one's the negative. So we're just going to cut these and plug them in and see if it works. We'll leave a little space just in case we're wrong and we need to resign it back together. <laughs> Yep, there it is. So there's just two wires there. So we're just going to cut this, splice these, and stick them into the receiver and see if it works. I'm not sure what gauge this is. We'll just work our way down. Okay. Not 12, try 14. All right, 14 looks like it works. So oh, there it is. So this is supposed to be the, we should probably label these so we know what the heck they are in the future, but these are supposed to be the rear right. So we go back. Um, so I'm just going to plug this into the left channel just so I know, cause I know it's going to work. Um, for these, there's no way for us to really tell which is a positive and negative. So, but one of these cables is kind of texturized and the other is smooth. So I'm going to assume the texturized one is the positive cable. It could be a wrong assumption, but it'll work regardless. So. And again, we're not hooking this into the proper channel. I'm just hooking it into a channel so I can test it. set the audio out to optical because mm -hmm. um, it's a fiber optic cable yeah well we have two optical things we don't want the lg sound sync because we just have standard things we're just going to do this the receiver automatically picks up the codec it sees that there's a 5.1 running so it sets that automatically gotcha okie doke all right so now we're just going to cut the rest of the cords plug them in um yeah well they're not that hard this time Rolling. All right, so we finished hooking everything up. Um, we plugged all the speakers into here, into their each of their channels after we split the wires. We also found that uh, we've discovered this cable. So uh, it has a cable for the sub. Um, so that just goes into the sub pre-out. Um, this thing, once you plug it in, it just stays on. So and that's about it. So everything runs. Um, 5.1, yeah, just runs like normal speakers, so pretty simple. 
straightforward. You can run it that way. Or if uh, if you knew that you had this cable, I didn't know we had this cable. If you knew you had it beforehand, you could actually just plug these in to the channels uh, instead of cutting the wires. But either way, it's going to function as the same thing. This would have just routed it to the sub and then out of the sub to where it was going. So either way, um, works there. So here's another type of Bose speaker that I have. This one also has uh, custom cables that I had to make for it. As you can see, there are uh, four wires coming out the back here. And uh, basically there's two drivers. So it's got one pin for uh, the positive and negative channels of each driver and they alternate. So positive, negative, positive, negative. Then you can see that I've just taken the positives and the negatives, put them together into one wire and then ran them into the speaker wire. And uh, so you can see here that I've just run those into the channel. It's a standard receiver, uh, sub out, got a sub here as well. Um, yeah, and the receiver, and so 2.1 channel, and it works pretty well. So you just get the cables, uh, make your own cables for some of these Bose speakers, and they will work with whatever receiver you want them to work with. All right, guys, that's all for today. Hopefully you found something useful in these videos, uh, and feel free to like and subscribe if you did.